It's like obviously you can't try it all, but it all looks so good. Filled with chocolate, gotta love it. Drink a bucket. <laughs> One of the most popular desserts. Everybody mentions it. Everybody. The it's way different than I anticipated. Everything. Like yeah. it is freaking awesome. We are Kyle and Jess, digital nomads touring the world in search of life's greatest adventures. I feel like my arm is gonna rip off. We have just arrived in Thailand and have spent our first few days in Bangkok between the famous MBK Center, touring around one of Bangkok's most beautiful temples, Wat Ben Mach Popit, and getting our first taste of Thai street food. So good. But that's just left us hungry for more, and so tonight we are checking out one of Bangkok's newest and largest night food markets. We're so excited. We have made it to Jod Fair. I am so excited. We have been researching Jod Fair since we have been researching Bangkok. And here we are. Let's go. All right, so Jod Fairs is not just one of the newest night markets in all of Bangkok, but it's one of the biggest food markets in all of Bangkok, which is, which is why we came. <laughs> They've got over 600 stalls with all the most popular dishes across all of Thailand, so we have to try some of the ones that really intrigued us doing our research before coming here to Thailand. Now, one of the ones we are in search for is the big stack of the traditional Thai ribs. Yeah. I think it's like a green curry flavor. I'm not exactly sure. It's got all these like chilies or chives or some sort of green herbs on top and we are so desperate to try it. So let's go see if we can find them. <laughs> Chicken? Let's try is some chicken. chicken. Is it chicken? <laughs> <laughs> the other night when we went to that other market. It's all like bony. I don't think that's chicken. Why are you freaking me out like that? Chicken. How much? Uh, 15 bucks. 15? Yeah. Okay. Let's get two. One two. Okay. okay. It's probably 30 degrees tonight. Kyle is still acclimatized to that Canadian winter and needs to catch up to the tie. I put my hair oh my down for the first okay, time and then I'm like kind of regretting it. I, I think I need to be putting it up. Yeah, it's so hot here. And she's also wearing a long sleeve shirt. I don't know how she's doing it. I'm um, shorts and t-shirt and like, ooh, so hot. At least they have grilled chicken here. Like they actually have chicken. Yeah, grilled chicken, 15 baht for a skewer. Can't wait to try it out. Ooh, yummy! Sh should I go into it? Okay, ready? Oh, it's hot! Like, not spicy hot, like hot, hot. Mm. Wow, that's juicy chicken. Wow. Mm. It's not spicy. It's like sweet, tangy, but not spicy. It's like kind of orangey red sauce if that makes sense that's not the greatest description right there <laughs> but it's not spicy it's sweet and it tastes like almost like this tangy orangey sauce that's the best i got right now <laughs> mm. i like it but yeah it's hard to put your finger on what it tastes like it's almost like um like a sweet and sour sauce 
but not sweet and sour. But not sweet and sour. Yeah. More like almost like McRib sauce. <laughs> if you know, you know. Real good though. Better than the chicken last night, am I right? I don't think that was chicken last night. <laughs> this is delicious. <laughs> Should we try Thai beef? Let's do it. 25 baht, so 50 baht. 20 25 baht a stick? So yeah, we'll try one each. Uh, oh, we got the beef one next. Those um, little egg, egg things. things. Yeah, okay. So we'll try these. Cup. Oh, they're quail egg. Quail? Quail egg. Ooh. I didn't realize that. Squid, shrimp, original. I'll maybe do ham. It's like obviously you can't try it all, but it all looks so good. So we got the quail eggs and the Thai beef. Quail eggs first. So it's like a baked quail egg. It's like fried in the steel cup. Fried quail egg with the ham. Just tastes like an egg. Yeah, it just tastes like egg with ham. Okay. Now we gotta try the beef. Cheers. Oh, I know where we're getting alcohol from. Oh, the bunny rook. Should we wash down the rest of the quail eggs with a drink? Let's go grab a drink. <laughs> Kyle has yet to try a Thai beer. We've been here for four days. Something's wrong. Really, it's the jet lag. It's been keeping us back. <laughs> but now our first full night out. And I think we finally recovered a bit from the jet lag. I'm not feeling like sickly trying to stay awake <laughs> past 7 o'clock. So it looks like I get one of these and then they mix them with like a, like a soda. Strawberry? Lemon soda? Sure. I'm usually a lot easier. I'm going to go with a draft of the local beer. Let's try it out. Uh, one Sinka, please. Thank you. 280. At first, I thought they already put a little bit in. I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Thank you, Kapunka. Cheers. Wow, that's tasty. She's drinking buckets. She's drinking a bucket. <laughs> there we go. So we just picked up these cookie walnuts, they're called. You know those pressed sandwiches, like those grilled amazing. cheese makers? It looks like they use something kind of similar to make it like in this walnut shape. Mine, I got the chocolate one. I think it's like a cookie pancake -y thing. Let's try it out. It looks amazing. Mmm. It's exactly what it's like. It's like a cookie pancake in the shape of a walnut, filled with chocolate. Gotta love it. So I got the custard one, and I love custard. So let's try it. Mm. Wow, that's amazing. It's filled with all this beautiful custom. I love it. I could eat 10 of them. That is phenomenal. Oh wow, look what are these? Oh, mochi. The mochi oh, wow. Wow. Well, we have This is to. exactly what we've been yeah. wanting to have. Yeah, okay. All right. So it's almost doughy. Yeah, it's doughy. It's doughy. It's almost like a um, like a gummy substance almost. Oh God, there's a gum. It's way different than I anticipated. I didn't think it was gonna be all gummy, like textury. Ooh. <laughs> it's super chewy. Tastes like those fruit snacks. Mine's hard to explain. It's kind of like it's a chocolatey flavor with a gum texture. So. I love this market that you can find pretty much everything. Like, yeah. it is freaking awesome. Yeah, I think there's definitely something for everybody. There's pizza, burgers. Yeah. There's Thai hot dogs, food, Thai Chinese, food, ice cream. There's booze. All kinds of desserts, drinks, slushy drinks, everything you could ask for. And that's just the food. Oh, I saw these ones. Remember we saw these? Which one do you want? Sweet? Okay. Yeah, these are the Thai crispy pancakes. 
We've seen a lot of them online and I have yet to try them out, so we're excited to check them out. Okay, the cream, I'm not sure what the cream is, but it's just amazing. Like, I can't even describe this. It is familiar. Mmm, it's like the pie, like meringue pie. Yeah, it's like a meringue. It's a meringue, but also real crispy. And salty. It doesn't really remind me of a pancake, but a real crispy meringue. I think it's like that way. Yeah. This place is so huge. All right, guys, we are about to try something that we have seen all over YouTube, and we are so excited. Yeah, one of the most popular dishes here in Thailand is the traditional Thai ribs. They come in these massive towers of ribs. We're not going to get that big a portion. No. We got the small and portion. we got the little spicy, well, medium spicy. Yeah. I'm not crazy on the spices, but Kyle does like it. So we're going I like this place, so we went medium. <laughs> we compromised mid in the middle. But medium spice is probably going to be really hot for me and unbearable for Jess when it comes to Thailand. <laughs> oh, okay. So it's got all this like juices and chilies. It looks super spicy. There's way more chilies than I thought. And it's in like this soup. Like it's in this chili soup. It's like a Thai chili soup rib. <laughs> Let's dig in. Wow. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, it's spicy. Whoa. It's spicy. The broth kind of tastes like a spicy chicken noodle soup almost. Yes. The meat is so tender. Mm -hmm. It right off the bone. For medium spice, it's pretty spicy. And I love my spice. And I I'm not a fan of spice and I like it. Yeah. It's spicy enough for spice fans to enjoy, but also flavorful enough for those with a sensitive palate to still enjoy it as well. Mm. <laughs> my lips are So many chilies all over it. You can see the seeds and everything. They're burning! It's not quite like a rack of ribs back in North America where you get big chunks of meat all over it. It's quite bony and you have to really work for it, but the flavors are unbelievable. One of the most popular desserts that we have seen in all of our research looking into Thailand, everybody mentions everybody. the mango. And when we were in Central America, we absolutely fell in love with mango. And so when we found out that mango sticky rice was one of the most popular desserts in Thailand, we, our mouths started watering all the way from Canada. So what it is, is you get the sticky rice with a big slab of mango, coconut milk, and then the Rice Krispies like Jess said. Do you said. pour the coconut milk? You pour on? the coconut milk right on everything, and then you enjoy it all in one. I cannot wait. Wow. It's creamy. It's got a tiny, weeny bit of crunch with that crispy on top. It's definitely mango-y, and that rice is sticky and creamy with the free, like the coconut milk. Ooh. We'll get a nice big chunk of mango in there. I'm gonna take a big bit of the rice. Ah, I keep dropping the rice. There we go. I like coconut, but I find coconut flavors can sometimes be really overpowering. The coconut milk is very subtle and it just kind of complements the whole thing really well. It's not overpowering. And when you have a bit of the rice by itself with the coconut milk, it brings the flavor of that sweetness of the sticky rice out. Mm. Super good. Absolutely can see why it's super popular here in Thailand. A must try when you come here.